everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today uh, I'm on hike number 27 in the Great Day Hikes on North Carolina's Mountains to Sea Trail book. Uh, this one is entirely on the streets of Roseboro, North Carolina. It's one of the shortest hikes in the book. Uh, it's about two miles and it is a loop trail, so we don't have to go out and back today. And it is raining. Uh, it's just a little break in the rain right now. I'm seeing a lot of storms coming this way, so I don't know if I'm going to get soaked or what. So we'll see what we can do. Um, if you're hiking the Mountains to Sea Trail eastbound, then you would be coming up uh, Colbert Street this way. And I think this is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive or Highway 24. You would come in Culver Street. There is a shopping center. There's a food line, a Walgreens. A good spot to resupply. It's like a pizza place. So that shopping center is the trail on this hike. And we're continuing on Culver Street and then we'll take a left over there at uh, East Railroad Street. I believe the guide said the trail would eventually be moved over to the railroad bed, but I don't see any indication of I'm supposed to be walking over there or on the road. Also, I don't think there's any trailblazes as you're going through town. I haven't seen any mention of the Mountains of Sea Trail other than the guidebook. the old brick cone silo. I believe it says this was used to burn off uh, scrap lumber. That's a really good use of that space. I like it.
Ooh, thrift store lights on. downtown Roseboro. Rain's holding off so far, but uh, better get a move on. It's uh, almost three o'clock Friday afternoon and none of the restaurants are really seem to be open yet. They all open uh, more like five this evening. Oh, slow down, fool. Let's leave the downtown area. Uh, the trail takes a left on the Broad Street. So, old historic homes on this street, I believe. Okay, I got a little confused back there. You go up the sidewalk to the end, and then back down the sidewalk, and then take a left on Broad Street. Also, it's starting to rain more. Okay, I got to figure it out now. The end of the sidewalk is the end of the loop. Then you turn around. <laughs> Go back down Roseboro. And then take a left on the broad. A little weird. You see, wanted us to see this neighborhood. If you're westbound on the MST, you'd be coming down this road and you're in Roseboro. Okay, now we take a left on Broad Street. It's the United Methodist Church. Is this thing on? <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's on. Need house. Mr. Big. How you gonna have a house like that? And then a uh, above ground pool over there. Is that what that is? So Broad Street runs back into Culver Street and that gets us back to the shopping center where we started. This guy doesn't look so bad that way, but that way, ew. Just finished up Hike 27, downtown Roseboro, made it back before the rain. Uh, quick first impressions. It was pretty much like any other small town. <laughs> uh, the community garden, that was a neat spot. They've got a little park in the downtown area uh, like that. There's some neat old houses. I'm still kind of wondering why they included this town in the trail route. Um, that, you know, what is it? So this uh, segment 12, of the MST is seems to be mostly uh, road walking. Uh, there's some breaks from the road walking, like um, back at Bentonville Battlefield. Uh, but to get from Bentonville, which is hike 26, to this hike in Roseboro 27, there is miles and miles and miles and miles of road walking. And not like sidewalk or trail on the side of the road, but just walking on the side of the road. And bridges can be a little dangerous. Um, one thing I thought was odd that I didn't see any indication anywhere in Roseboro that the MST runs through it. I mean, it's not promoted at all. It's not marked, not blazed. There's no signage that I saw. But overall, I had a good time, and I made it back before the rain, so uh, I'm going to head home.